So the esophageal anometry is a tube in your nose. It goes to the stomach. And the purpose is to measure the pressures in there to get the number your esophagus squeezes at. I understand that sometimes it feels like things get stuck in there. Uh, and so it is uncomfortable, but since you're allergic to the medicine, we just put the we just have to put the tube down, okay? Um, when the tube is in place, I'll ask you to lie down on your side. What's the difference? Uh, like what's the difference with the It makes it feel like you can't swallow the numbing spray. Yeah. So what, will it hurt without it? If you you're gonna feel everything without it, yes ma'am. Oh man. Yeah. So we're gonna put the tube down. You might have some gas if you wish. And then once I get the tube down, I'm gonna ask you to lay down on your left side. And I'll ask you to please swallow some water while you're lying down and then swallow some water while you're sitting up. It'll take us maybe 30, 45 minutes. Take that out and you have a little break because I have to get a report. That report tells me where I'm gonna put the overnight. You're aware of the overnight tube? Yes. Yeah. So the overnight tube is called a 24 hour impedance. And with that, another tube is put in your nose, goes down to the stomach, visible, go home with it, it's connected to a monitor, and it's looking for reflux overnight. And on the monitor, there are buttons you press when you eat, when you lie down, and when you have symptoms, okay? They see your sheet. <coughs> Yeah, you got a chest pain. All right, yeah. so uh, then when I get that number where I'm going to put the overnight one, I'm going to put the tube in, tape it down, go in the And what is that number? How's that number? From the first there? test. The first test tells me how it's called it. This is our pressure test, the esophageal manometry. That's the one that tells us how what number is your esophagus squeezing at. And also tells me a place that's called the lower esophageal sphincter. That okay. tells me where I need to put the overnight one. So the overnight one goes a little past. It that. goes five centimeters above the lower esophageal sphincter. Oh, wow. and I have a um, little small hiatal hernia. You got a hiatal hernia too. So will that affect it? Uh, we make sure we can have it nice and straight, so we put it in a good position for that. Sometimes a, a patient say when they have a hernia, they can feel the tube move up and down. If your hernia is moving, not sliding, uh -huh. yeah. and so you might feel that with that overnight one. You might feel that with that overnight. It's, it's, it's normal. Just know it does, does not interfere with your breathing. Because the two end of the tube is in your stomach. It's down in your stomach. Oh, okay. So, so it doesn't go to the lungs. It's in your stomach. So will that test be able to tell if my little speaker is closing on? Mm -hmm. it, left, it gives Perfect. them that number. That's why I said this test is all about pressures. What number is your esophagus squeezing at? What number is your sphincter squeezing at? Is it resting like it's supposed to? Relaxing like it's supposed to? Because sometimes when you have different things, one of them is it can be real tight. And then just allow it to stay tight and you eat and stuff just come back up and you throw up. So the wound will be staying tight because mm -hmm. it's staying tight. And then sometimes your esophagus is just not squeezing like it's supposed to. So you eat and it just sits there. And so you'll be able to see the number uh, okay. in your esophagus. Like I said, it's uncomfortable. But oh, I'm going to get you through it. I'm going to get you through it. We take our time and we'll right. get you through it. Okay. So I, I How long did like it take? Yeah. It's scheduled. You schedule in two hours. It'll be about an hour and a half. We get right. what we need. And then you go home, and you'll have two phone numbers. You can reach someone 24 hours a day if you have questions. Uh, and 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 things you might call about is the recorder issues or need clarification on the diary that you go home with. May I answer any questions? Um. So I, is there a particular nostril it has to go with? Whatever you say, it doesn't matter either. Because some people, they've had like surgery on their nose and they know they got a broken history, a, bro nose, a history of a broken nose and we know they can't get on one side. Any other questions or concerns? Yes, that's all. That'll do it. All right. Well, I like to be informed of what's going on. And I'll on. tell you, all along the way, I will talk to you. Let you know what's that, going on. That's what helps me be relaxed. Mm -hmm. no, yeah, that, that's some people, people, some people do like, you, don't tell me nothing. Uh -huh. I, I, like I don't know everything. Me too. That's do me. you do a lot without the uh, medicine? Some we have to. But uh, most people get it. But I mean, when you, you got a okay? reaction, you, you, you can't. So. <clears> but but it's something I could have drank. Yeah, those canes, they are the same family of uh, numbing stuff. And so, yeah. and so it won't burn. It, it's, you know, gaggy feeling and, uh, you know, discomfort as it goes. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it'll be fine because I have, like, went to the ENT and they mm -hmm. put one, they put one down my nose. Okay. But it wasn't as long yeah, as Yeah, that's right. Me. So they just go right here to look at the vocal cords. And yeah. But we go down to the stomach. 
So if you go past it all day. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You probably know that little gag. That's why we want the stomach empty. You haven't had anything to eat since what time? Yesterday, like it's not lunch. Good That's what we want. We want a good empty stomach. <coughs> I'm gonna, can you take your glasses off for a second? I'm going to get you the temperature. Mm. Water, water, water soluble. Water soluble. Okay, I want to make sure this big thing. <laughs> it's so big. Okay, I got it. Water eyes get ready to come up, and then you kind of have a little bag. I'm just trying to swallow, swallow, swallow. Okay. My throat feels really dry. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you can take your glasses off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She used to it. You could do it. Yeah. Ow. I swallowed it for you. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You should take a deep breath. Swallow. Head down. Okay. Swallow. Head down. Swallow. Please don't 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 swallow. Please don't
for 30 seconds. And you can swap it up for the year. 30 seconds. And you can swap it up for the year. For 30 seconds. And you can swap it up for the year. For 30 seconds. You're doing great.
But I can see when it gets to your stomach, I'm going to look for an acid number. and they said that can affect the results. Medication instructions on your copy I have it marked out because you're going to take your omeprazole or your pantoprazole, whichever you think you can get down today, and I'm going to want you to please write down the time you take it, and I'll show you where. Uh, monitor instructions. Press each button once when a symptom begins. I'm going to show you that. For other symptoms, record the time and type of symptom in the diary. And then, let me put my name on here. Here So you got a daytime number up until three for me. Seven one three four four one five four seven two. And then after three is George, the lady that came in. So it's about seven one three seven nine oh two two oh one. And it's a pager uh six five one one. And then that's uh pager six five one one. Okay. All right. Let's see if you have questions about you need clarification or any monitor problems, okay? Let's bring your monitor around so you can see it. And uh it's, it goes dark to save the charge so from the battery to save the battery. Push the light bulb. And see how it says recording? Mm -hmm. It should always, always, always say recording. If you looked on there and it doesn't say recording, call. Because something has happened and it got bumped and got out of the recording mode. And we can troubleshoot over the phone and get it recorded again. Okay. Now we're going to practice like you're eating. This is your eating button. Start eating, finish eating. Just practice those. Push that, please. And see how it displays it there? Mm -hmm. What time does it say? 1424. So please, you see it's military, so please put 1424 here. And then you'll go over and put a check mark by your meal here. And then you eat. So the whole time you're eating, it's like that. Mm -hmm. When you finish eating, please turn it off by pushing, I'm sorry, pushing that. And then go away. Good. And then you write down the time you finish. <coughs> Any questions on what you're going to do for eating? <laughs> Now let's practice lying down. It's a little guy, that means you're sitting or standing, so because he's up. Mm -hmm. When you lie down, you'll please push this one. Push it, please. You see how he lays down? Mm -hmm. What time is it? 1425. So put 1425, and then you'll go over to lying down, in this case, put a check mark there, and you lie down. That's when you on purpose lie down to take a nap, on purpose lie down to like, you know, go to sleep, whenever you lie down, and you're ready, ready to go to sleep. And when you get back up again, you push the that button. Push it. It didn't sense. Now he's got up again. And you write down the time he got up. So meals and lying down have two entries: the start of it and the end of it. Any questions on that? Now, when you go to the bathroom, if you go like in the middle of the night, they say if it's five minutes or less, you don't have to change it. But if you are up longer, then you change it. Okay. Any questions on those? Okay. No. All right. So now we're going to practice the simple. The symptoms that you have checked are chest pain and regurgitation. And the company made three green buttons for symptoms. 
The first green button is number one for heartburn. It's number two, chest pain. Number three, regurgitation. So you don't have that. So these are the ones you may possibly push. And when you, and I usually say, if you get about five or 10 a day in, of that one symptom, that's enough for that one. You don't have to keep doing it each and every time, okay? So now we're gonna say you're having chest pain. Push number two, please. What time does it say? 1426. So you put 1426 and a check mark by chest pain. And you see how I put a dash? Because we don't want to know the end. We only want to know when it is started. Any questions on that? Mm -hmm. no. All right. Now, number three, the other symptom you have is regurgitation. So when you feel something coming up, you want to please push number three. So push number three. What time does it say? 1426. So you put 1426 and a check mark by regurgitation. And that's just when something comes up, sometimes it'll just feel like they come up and go back down, and it will not necessarily go. Any questions on that? Okay. Any other questions? All right, these are our practice, but I want to do some practice that you're not going to write down. What are you going to do if you have chest pain? What number is that pushing for? You? What are you going to do if you have regurgitation? What number is that? What are you going to do when you start eating? What are you going to do when you finish eating? What are you going to do when you lie down? And when you get up. And remember, if you get up and it's less than five minutes, you don't have to change it. Uh, now, what are you going to do for when you document your reflux medicine? How do you do that? Put the time and put a pill around. And the way that you'll do it, if, if it's dark, you just hit the light bulb so you can see the time. Okay. This one you never have to push because it's an internal diary and this works out better. Okay. Any questions I can answer for you? The temperature. This is the time if you knew certain things that make you have symptoms, this is the time to, to do have them. So we can try to produce the reflux. Okay. okay. So if you you know, some people know Mexican food will make them have symptoms and spicy stuff, chocolate, mint. So go ahead. <laughs> this is the time to do it. No, you know, then you're gonna write down the symptoms and then I write down when you take your medicine. Yeah. All right, let me We are back. Um so today is um the day after the placement. So after it was placed, I did the manometry test with the impedance. Um so um, so basically yesterday I went to um, the hospital um, the due to the coronavirus uh, being out you have to get a coronavirus test five days within five days of your uh, procedure or test so I got my coronavirus test done on Friday it came back negative the same day so I was clear for Monday yesterday to get my test done. So do the forehead check. Um, they ask you the questions that indicate if you have coronavirus symptoms, of which mine, I didn't. So um, I go to the right department, do some walking, get to the right department. Um, I think I was on the seventh floor. And then they had me wait in one waiting area, go through registration, then they sent me to another area where I waited maybe another 30 minutes. So my time um, to even start was supposed to be 12. I don't believe it got started until maybe one o'clock or so, maybe one. Um, so from there, I was sent back into the room. They asked if I needed to use the restroom. And I'm thinking, no, I'm fine. But I did, and I highly recommend that you guys use the restroom as well. Use the restroom before you start because you will gag, and that gagging will be um, involuntary. So you don't want to, you know, go on yourself or anything like that. So I used the restroom. They took me to the room. She has two separate tubes. So to do the regular manometry and the manometry with the impedance test, they have two different tubes. The first tube was the thicker tube and it has, you know, these little things inside that can measure. So she lubricated the tube with just some regular jelly and then began to put it inside the nostril. 
once it gets to about here, you know, it's about where your gag reflex starts to kick in. And I did not use any numbing agents because I'm allergic to um, lidocaine or sensitive to it. So normally they would numb your area, but for some numbing the area makes their throat feel more like it's closing. So I had to do this just and take all the pain, but it wasn't that bad. Like it wasn't unbearable. It was definitely uncomfortable, but it wasn't unbearable. So she um, got me a little spit container to throw up in um, and a towel just in case I threw up and she's outfitted in her, you know, as you'll see, she's outfitted in her, you know, garments or protective gear in case I was to vomit on her. And she starts to put the tube in my nose and she's guiding it down. But once it gets to about that gag reflex, that, that, um, the back of the throat, she tells you to swallow. So you're trying to focus on swallowing while she's pushing it down while you're having to gag. And it's, it's so hard to do that. It's so hard to try to swallow something down while something's being pushed down while also gagging, pushing, you know, back out so hard. But, um, it started to burn and uh, so my nose was already sensitive from dealing with the you know the previous sinus infection already and so it did kind of burn a bit just a bit burned but the most uncomfortable part was once it got here and you're trying to gag while she's pushing it down i wanted to stop her i'm like ah! but you can't because it's still you still have to you know get it down so it was a bit difficult so after that, she asks you to, once it's down, it's placed, they'll put the tape on to hold it down. And she'll ask you to lay on your left side and she'll squirt with a syringe, a measured amount of a teaspoon of water. And she's measuring, you have to hold for 30 seconds without swallowing because she's measuring your natural, esoph uh, your natural esophagus movement without swallowing. So you have to hold without swallowing, but mind you, it feels so uncomfortable in your throat. It feels so uncomfortable. So you want to swallow because there's something in there and you can feel it and you want to swallow. So I know a few times I swallowed before the 30 seconds and she would have to start it over. Um, so after that, she would take the syringe and I'm still on my side. She would squirt about a teaspoon inside and then she would say, swallow once. So she's measuring how your that one swallow goes down up against the, the tube. And so she did that, I believe, 10 times or so, or so probably, more, probably more than 10 times. But if I swallowed twice, and you'd have to hold it 30 seconds each time. So she would squirt, and then you would swallow once, and have to hold for 30 seconds. So if you felt that it was still here in your chest, you know, oh well, you had to try your best not to swallow. If you did swallow or clear your throat, um, you'd have to start that one all over again. So it would prolong the test. So after doing this maybe 15 times, um, when she told me six left, I'm like six. Okay. You know, I, the sooner I get this done, the faster this is over with. So I just tried to buckle down and do my best at that point. So once that was all done, you're able to then sit up. So once we sat up, that's when she then had me drink, um, drink an entire a little cup of water that she measured out. She wanted me to drink it as fast as I could, but as safe. So don't just drink it and choke yourself if you're having an issue. So I was able to drink the entire cup of water. Um, I did feel at one point some did come back up when I, or it didn't go all the way down. Um, so that I paused on that. But once that was done, that part was over. 
So then comes to pulling that tube out. So the tube pulls out fine. It pulls out fine. But once it gets to that part, you know, about here, back of the throat, that area again, I started to, <laughs> you know, because even though she's pulling it out, once it hits that spot, it's just automatic, basically. So she pulled that one out. Um, that one did, that part did not have a lot of gagging, just very short. I was glad to have it out, but my nose and my throat did feel a little sensitive. It did. It did feel a bit sensitive at that point. So next she gave me a break while she got her measurements together and things like that. So she gave me a break and, um, then we, she gathered her other, um, her other materials for the next part, which would be this tube that I have on now. That would be this tube, which is much thinner, much, much thinner. And this one stays in the 24 hours for the 24 hour part of the test. So she, again, with this tube, she had to, uh, calibrate the tube to different types of liquid. So in the office, she had three tubes. And in each tube, she had something, um, she had like a water in one, she had like an acid type um, solution in another. And so she would take the end of the tube that's down in my esophagus, put that tube into the mixture and calibrate the, the machine here to recognize what material, what liquid is what. And so once that was done, it was ready to place again. So with this one, I did still have the gagging once it went down, even though it's smaller, my um, nose and throat, because I'm not, I, I did not use any numbing agent. It did, um, I could feel everything. So um, I did do some of the gagging. She just pushed it down the same way, but with this one, she did allow me to drink water with it. So I had a cup of water with a straw. And so while she put this one in, me focusing on swallowing the water, it mentally takes your mind off of the tube going down. It helps, it helps, I'll say. So I'm swallowing the water, she gets the tube down. Once she gets it down, she, she places it and then she has to secure it to the side of your face. So I'm gonna show you here. So here it is. Piece of tape. And then it goes behind the ears. And then it just kind of comes around and attaches to the machine. So. When it comes to the machine that you get, so the machine is, um, it's made, the tube is the other end of the tube is hooked inside and the other end is of course in your nose and down to your esophagus and a bit is in your stomach as well. And so with this machine, when you look, hold it up to yourself, as you'll see, when you hold this tube up to yourself, you'll see, um, Everything is right side up for you to look at. It's right side up to look here. On, on my machine is, hopefully it's in focus. But some of the things is it's going to show, you have a light button that turns the light on. If you're sitting up, you would push here. If you're laying down, you'll push here. If you, when you start eating, you push here and mark the time. So I'll push that I'm starting to eat. So I'm about to eat my food here. And the time would be for 1121. So I'll then write that down on my calendar, 1121 on my journal. So then when you stop eating, you would push here and it would change that signal there. When you stop eating and you'll write down the time that you stop eating. On mine for the one, two and three, they have 
heartburn, chest pain, or regurgitation. So if I notice any of those things, I would push one, two, or three, of course. This, oh, sleeping purposes. I have a 12 inch uh, wedge pillow. Got it off of Amazon and it comes with like this little lower back pillow or it can be a neck pillow as well. But since it's so elevated for me, I do like to use it as a lower back pillow to just help with the, the shape of the spine. And I can just put another pillow on top for my head. That has worked wonders. You keep that the probe in this um, this tube. You keep this in for um, a day, and so you go back 24 hours later. They will accept it within 22 hours, so you can go back as early as 22 hours, but um, they do want at least 24 hours of recording. So you can still drink water. You just may have to. Uh, go around the tube a bit. Um, I do recommend taking some type of, say, Tylenol. Um, I'm not really a medicine person, so I don't like taking uh, medicine. But this did hurt a bit, so I did do some children's liquid Tylenol, and that worked just fine. Especially today, the pain's definitely down a lot um, to where it's not really that noticeable. So I have about two hours or so. Yeah, I have about two hours or so before my 24 hours is up. And then I can get the tube out. Now, I can take the tube out in an hour, um, in less than an hour. But I'll just um, may wait. Right now we're dealing with a hurricane, <laughs> um, well two actually, um, two are in the Gulf right now. So um, we may be evacuating. So this was perfect timing. I'm so glad I changed my, um, my, time, my date from Tuesday to Monday because if I kept my date for Tuesday, I would have to go back in on Wednesday and it's projected that the hurricane may be here. So I did uh, do that early. So right now I may be evacuating um, pretty soon. I have lived through so many hurricanes already. I've had to evacuate many times, many, many times. Um, I've actually even had to wade out into like chest deep water. I was so scared because I thought um, I was concerned that there could be like alligators or snakes in the water. And so I was just so scared to do that. I was younger as well. So we may be facing an, an evacuation so far. They are evacuating cities that are um, an hour away. So I'm glad to get this out so I can eat regularly. So. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Getting the first bigger tube place, oh my gosh. So I do, I wear false eyelashes sometimes and I did have my false eyelashes on. And she's the nurse, she said, you're gonna need some tissues for your watering eyes. I don't need any tissues. Well, my eyes started to water and she helped me by wiping it for me and she wiped my eyelash off. <laughs> She wiped my eyelash off, guys. So I have one eyelash right now. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. Oh, this has been a process, a process that I do not want to do again. I hope they get what they can get. I hope that they can see what they need to see. Okay, it is almost 12. So... I can get it taken out in 15 minutes, 12, 15, or I can have it taken out, you know, around two o'clock. Um, so I'll probably go, you know, here after I eat again, I'll probably go. You guys come with me on my journey to get this thing 
taken out. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> mm. 